Hello, my lovely listeners. Welcome to Dixie Storytime World. Let's listen to The Frog Prince. The Characters Read the story to meet these characters and find out who they are. Once upon a time, there was a king with many daughters. The youngest daughter was the most beautiful. The young princess had a golden ball. It was her favourite toy. By the forest, there was a deep well. The princess would go near the well and play with her golden ball. One day, the ball landed in the well. The princess started to cry. Why are you crying, rabbit? A frog asked. I've lost my golden ball in the well, said the princess. What will you give me if I find your ball, rabbit? Asked the frog. Whatever you want, the princess said. Let me be your friend, rabbit, said the frog. The princess agreed, but the princess wasn't telling the truth. She was thinking... This frog is silly. How could a frog ever have a human for a friend? The frog dived into the well. He quickly returned with a golden ball. The princess picked up the ball and ran away as fast as she could. The next day, the princess was at the dinner table with her father, the king. There was a knock at the door. The princess ran to see who was at the door. When she saw it was the frog... She slammed the door in his face. Who was that? the king asked. It's just an ugly frog, the princess said. The princess told her father about the ball, the frog and the promise she had made. The king said, when you make a promise, you must keep it. Let him in. The princess did as her father ordered. Pick me up and put me on the table, rabbit, the frog said. Again, the king made the princess do it. Push your plate closer so we can eat together, rabbit, the frog said. The princess did what the frog asked, but she didn't like it. When the frog had finished eating, he said, I'm tired. Take me to your bedroom, rabbit, rabbit. The princess began to cry. Her father became angry. When someone helps you and you have made a promise, you must keep it, the king said. The princess carefully picked up the frog. She carried him upstairs to her bedroom. The princess put the frog on the floor in her bedroom. She crawled into her bed and turned off the light. I'm tired and I want to go to sleep. Lift me up or I'll tell your father, said the frog. The princess got cross. She picked up the frog and threw him across the room. Go to sleep, she pleaded. The princess felt sorry for what she had done. She bent down and kissed the frog. Suddenly... The frog turned into a handsome prince. The prince told the princess that a wicked witch had cast a spell on him. She had broken the spell with her kiss. The princess and prince were married. They lived happily ever after. The end. Thank you for listening.